So as many of you have witnessed, seen possibly in the past, uh, one of the issues I think with the MacBook M1, one of the issues is its limitation for some uh, external peripherals. One of the big ones is actually like monitors. And the MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, the M1, not the new 14 and 16 inch ones, but the 13 inch, uh, really can only, out of the box, with what you get, can only use one external display. It just doesn't have the power to be able to uh, handle more than one display. So this device here, Tobinone, I'm guessing, Tobinone, uh, allows us to use dual displays, dual HDMI, 4K displays, and, and a VGA display, if you happen to have one. So we're gonna crack open the box, take a look at what this comes with. Uh, right now it's coming at about 169 US dollars, which isn't bad for what you're getting, especially if you're like, man, I wish I could have two displays, maybe three displays. This, this could be a really great option. So yeah, we're gonna take a look at what comes in the box. We are going to figure out how we need to set this up because it does require some software. And we are going to, uh, hook in two displays, because I don't have an old VGA display, so we're hooking up two HDMI displays. Yeah, that's coming up. Okay guys, so first off, uh, Tobinone, Tobinone, right here, right? And it says at the top, at least right now, a free standard delivery shipping uh, on orders over 99 bucks. And as far as I can tell, the majority of their stuff, except for their stand, does come in over that price point. So free free shipping is excellent. We all love free shipping. Uh, and this is the one that I have here. Uh, this is the docking station dual monitor for M1 MacBook Pro Air, USB-C and Windows laptops. Yeah. So um, again, you know, it's hard to tell with photos how big it actually is. So a couple cool pictures there. That's a good, good representation. Look at that. Three displays they've got rocking there. Plus you get a bunch of other bells and whistles. And this is a nice one too, cause you don't, you definitely don't see this a lot on like less expensive docking stations or hubs, uh, ethernet, 10, 100 and a thousand megabits per second. Megabytes, megabits, megabytes, bytes, bits, bytes, bytes. I always get, I always get, I know what they mean. I always just say them wrong. You know what, MBPS, there you go. Docking station, yeah. So uh, a few things in the back, right? There's your HDMI 1, HDMI 2, VGA, and your USB and your ethernet. So just realize the HDMI 2 and the VGA are both driver-based, yes? So that means that we do have to get software on our MacBook to make sure that it functions properly. So we'll, we'll do that. Okay, let's crack it open. Let's crack it open because I'm, I'm excited to see it. Well, I've seen it because I took it out because I, I wanted to look at it. I do like their box though. Look at that. Nice little cover. It has, has all their specs and everything on the back. USB-C connector host, LED indicator, SDM micro SD. This is actually really nice too because one of the issues with some of us, especially even on my MacBook, there is no SD card reader for sure. Um, it has a read of 50 to 104 and a write of 30 to 80. So decent. Three and a half millimeter audio, uh, USB-A data and downstream ch charge. Oh, well, that's good. So you can charge out uh, five gigabits. You guys, you guys can read it all. The HDMI, 4K and 2K 60 hertz, up to 1.4 for the actual HDMI standard, I believe it is. And then when you go to the VGA, you go, you kind of go down to 1080. But you know, that's a third display way over on the side. You know, you're looking, you're using that one for like menus and stuff like that. So who cares? Uh, USB-C, 100 watt power adapter, RG45, awesome, universal power cord, power adapter and power cord. Oh, they forgot the, they forgot the, they forgot the R. They forgot the R. You guys see it, forgot the R. Not that that's a big deal. Uh, and you can get a free upgrade to 24 months warranty. I think all you have to do is register it, I think. Yeah, and then there's some extra little contact information for you guys. If you're like, I need to get a hold of them. Get a hold of them, go do it. Okay, here we go. This is this is it. I'm trying to keep this down so that I'm gonna put my phone on there so that lip doesn't just keep popping up. You use what you got. You use what you got. 
All right, so this is lovely because look at that. They didn't just give you this tiny manual. They're not like, no, no, they need to be able to read this. It's like a newspaper. For those of you that are old enough to remember newspapers, if you're not, then I don't know what to tell you. Um, save more on free warranty, ports, yeah, I'm with you. Uh, and how to get it all working, plus a little QR code. I love it, It's that's, that's nice and big, which is excellent. And firstly, connect the docking station to your laptop, you'll see a disk named Instant View. Double click, they open it. According to your system, choose the proper application. Oh, it does it, it goes through the whole thing for you. It's got everything kind of looks like in, in the actual machine. Oh, that's nice. I like that, and then nothing on the back. So, this that's a complete win, because uh, the fact is, they give you a manual that's legible and large. You can literally have that out on your desk and not be like, what? I've seen a lot of the what's. I do, and I have to get my phone out to take pictures. Okay, we'll get to this piece in a minute. Uh, my guess is this is gonna be all the power and possibly like the USB-C, US, USB-C, USB-C connectors. So, Oh, look at that. Give you two. These are nice, nice connectors too. Yes, I think so. Where are my camera? There we are. Those are lovely. Nice, decent length. Right? Looked like good quality, you guys. Nothing wrong with those. Nothing wrong with those at all. And this is going to be, this is going to be the power, I would think, that one of those plugs into. So one goes into power, into this, and then it goes from this into your MacBook, yeah? So that's, that's that, did they say 100 watt? I think they said 100 watt. This part's small. Yeah, I think that's 100 watt. Take that plastic off. Yes, sir. That's good. That, and you know what's funny? Because a 100 watt one of these, you go to Apple and you buy a 100 watt uh, adapter. I don't know what you pay. What is it, 60 bucks, 80 bucks, something like that? You get one. Yep, you get one. So that's handy. Yeah, last but not least, here we go. I'm gonna put this off to the side and we're gonna move this away because we don't need it anymore. Nope. Whoa, whoa. Calm it down. Calm it down. Calm it down. Okay, so, you know what? It looks like, it has that look, it has that look like it's like a, well, for one, it looks like a small Mac mini or a big Apple TV, or some of the little, you know, like Android boxes that you kind of get. It's hefty. Yeah, it's, it's built really well. You guys can see some information on the on the bottom there. Model UDS 15D. Again, has the support and phone number. I love that they put even that on the box, because how many of us won't, won't end up keeping this, like at all, or we can't find it, or we throw the box out? All the information is right there on the bottom. That's smart, I like that. And then, Two sides, depending on what you want. You have, these are your HDMI 1, so this is gonna work just with the actual box. HDMI 2, VGA, software driven, so make sure you get your software on your MacBook. This is where you're gonna plug in to power, I think. Yeah, so it's got a little power plug on it. And there's your ethernet, spin it around. You're gonna have your host, so this is going to your computer. There's your power indicator, uh, SD, micro SD, headphone jack, USB 3, USB 3, USB 3, USB 3. Fantastic. That's excellent. The only thing you don't get on this one, the only thing that you don't, and, and it might be something for some, it's not, I don't think it's an issue for me, is that it doesn't look like there's like a, even like a pass-through USB-C port. Is that a big deal? Uh, but something to be, to, to, to be aware of, right? Because you are taking up a USB-C, but you are getting all of these, so. All right, that's that's it in the box. I that's that's lovely looking. I'm a I'm a fan of the look and their little icon. That's slick. Mm -hmm. That's slick. So before we before we go anywhere, before we go anywhere, I'm going to I'm going to try to pull my laptop down here because it said it said all we needed to do. You guys, can you see that? Yeah, I think you can. All it said we needed to do, and I'm not going to plug any monitors into it yet, but we'll we'll get we'll get rid of this guy here. And this is, this is new to me, new to you. This is, we're doing this without any, any practice, any, we're following the instructions so that you guys can see how easy or how difficult this possibly can be. And again, we have my laptop here. 
I don't think the cables matter. The cable, cable is a ca cable is, and this is gonna go power, which is the one on the back. So that's going in there. I'm just, I'm just running cables. Luckily for you and for me, I have a little power adapter right here. That's going in. And you guys may or may not be able to see that, right? Power indicator. We're lit up. Lit up. See, you sit that off to the side like that with your MacBook and then you had some monitors. Mm-hmm. And normally you probably wouldn't have a cable sitting up here on the desk like I do, but I like that. That's... It looks, it looks, especially if you got a space gray, it kind of, it matches, it, it looks the part. It says, I was designed to be, to be with you, with you. I'm rambling, I get it. Okay, so let's do this. So we're going into a USB-C port and uh, we're going into a USB-C port right there. And you guys will make this look prettier, I'm sure. Boom, just like they said, look at that, instant view. Double click, and we have a bunch. So driver download, Mac OS Instant View. This is all your goodness. This is your user, SMI Mac Instant View user manual. I encourage you guys to read this. Am I going to do it? I don't know. Yeah, I probably will, just to make sure that I, I figure everything out and get it all, all working properly. But I love the fact that on this, which means there's gotta be a little bit of, little bit of storage on there somewhere uh, that it is has the has the software on it how to use the interview app the inter what is it called instant view instant view app overview hardware requirements yep okay let's let's we got it here right first off it says i'm just we're gonna do it here we're gonna install open it we'll see it which we did if it's the first time run uh we'll be open to get permission so we are going to have to get, oh uh, yes. So I've seen this on other ones. You need to allow the computer to record this computer screen because I think it's using that to be able to get access to the system information. All right, I'm down with you. Okay, screen recording, you'll have to say yes to it. All right, let's, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Mac OS, here we go, boom, click. Yeah, would like to record this computer screen. Open system, right? I'm just gonna move that here for a minute. We, bunch of windows pop up, so you'll see it. There it is there, so you do have to put in your password. I can put in password, I luckily have fingerprint scanner. I'm gonna say yes, it, it, is, it is allowed. So macOS interview will not be able to record the contents of your screen until it is quit. You can choose to quit the macOS interview now or do it on your own later. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna say quit and open. Okay. But it's but it's there. We've got it, we've got it on. Right? Oh, and there's an update. Yes, I want the update. We'll just hang hang tight for the update. Update is good. It's not very big. Four four megs. So just realize a little bit of an update. So I think that's the key, right? We start it. It'll come up and ask for updating. Before you do anything, go get that feature that allow for screen recording to turn on. You do have to unlock your computer so that you have access to check that. Check it. It'll ask if you want to restart the app. Say yes anyway, because it's got to download an updated piece of software. So then we can continue. Seems like the right way to do it. All right, install and relaunch. Please connect docking station. I'm gonna do this, ready? Connect. This is already there, so we're good. My guess is, in theory, that's it. Uh, as far as that's turned on, because in here, you do that, please quit and reopen. And I think, I think, I think that's all. I think that's it. I think that's, there's nothing else. Click connect when you want to turn on the monitor. All right, well, I think we need some monitors plugged into this. So we're gonna do that and, uh, We'll be back again. All right, guys, so we have two monitors set up. I think you can see both monitors. I'll just curve that a little bit. There you go, now you can see both monitors. And of course, I have my MacBook. Uh, here's the box right here. Uh, nothing's plugged into it, but it is powered. So 
we have the software running. You can see actually up here, there's this little, little icon on the menu bar that says USB display device. It says it's not connected, which it's not. So I'm gonna connect it, right? You can plug it into any one of the USB ports, okay? And you'll get, well, a, a ding, I guess. I got a piece of software open up, but minimize it. That was just Adobe Acrobat. Um, so that's good. Now, first thing is, I'm gonna plug in my mouse just to make sure the USB ports are working. And yes, as you can see, my mouse is moving. So that's excellent. And then, ready? Okay. We're gonna plug in display number one. Now this one should work no matter what because Max can have one and the hope is, there it is. So that one should work through the hub. It's, it's, it's the other one, it's the, it's the number two. That's the one that I'm the most concerned to see if it actually functions. So HDMI two, ready? Find that port, in it goes. And this guy here, we got a flash, something flashed, boom. Rock and dual displays. And what's nice about this too is it should, if I go into my system preferences under displays, you actually see, right, there's that one. There's there's that one, or the, they're the right ones. Make sure they're, they're organized properly, which, which they are, which is good. Which means I can take this and move this over here because it's a functional display. I can take this and move it over here because it's a functional display. I'm happy. That's awesome. 169 bucks. You can, so honestly, you can find like really inexpensive uh, hubs out there, but they're inexpensive hubs. They're really just gonna do like extra USB ports. And because this is also powered, uh, it's also gonna help supply some power to those USB ports because a lot of times once you start plugging in multiple USB devices into inexpensive hubs, the MacBook itself can't supply enough power. So the fact that this is powered allows us to do the dual display and possibly a triple display if you have a VGA monitor because it has the VGA port on the back. Plus you have your SD card, your micro SD card, and Ethernet, Ethernet as well. That's pretty sweet, pretty sweet deal actually. Um, if you guys are interested at all, I will leave links down below to where you can take a look at this and some of their other hubs as well. And that's it for me today. Uh, I think I think this is a total win. Total win. All right, my friends, I'm out. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little notification bell, and we will see you fine folks in our next video. Later.